So you've got Fortnite, one of the most popular games on any device right now, including iOS ones. You want to screen record it, and then you want to put it on YouTube. This is a beginner's guide on how to do it. This iPhone and iPad screen recording method of Fortnite requires at least iOS 11, and it's always best to update to the latest version. Once you've done that, you need to enable screen recording on your device. Go to Settings, then select Control Panel, and then go to Customize Controls. Scroll down this list until you see Screen Recording, and then press the green plus button to add it to your Active Control Center functions. Also ensure that Access Within Apps is toggled on so you can access the Control Center from within the Fortnite game. Next, either swipe down or swipe up depending on what device you have to display the control center and you should now see this record button. If you long press or 3D touch, which is basically a hard press on the record button, you should see these options. You want to make sure the camera roll is selected and you can choose to have the microphone switched on or off. If it's switched off, it won't record your own voice when you're playing the game. Let's try a very basic recording now. Make sure you're in Fortnite and your device is in landscape mode as your recording will record in whatever orientation your device is when you start the recording. Bring up the control center and then tap the record button. You will get a 3 2 1 countdown before the record button turns red and starts the recording. Everything I'm doing right now is being recorded so let's get a minute's worth of footage, in sped up time of course. Now let's stop the recording. Bring up the control center again and tap the record button to stop. You should see a notification appear at the top to say that your recording has stopped and you can view it in the photo application. So let's head on over there and have a look at the video file. As you can see, it records like any other regular video on your iOS device and plays back as normal. That's what it looks like through my camera, so let's have a look at the quality of the original video file. The video is recorded at the resolution of your device. This was recorded on an iPhone X at a resolution of 1980 by 886. On the right hand side are some of the video file properties with an acceptable frame rate of 35 and a file size of 48.4 megabytes for a 1 minute 20 second video. This was a very basic demonstration of screen recording Fortnite on an iOS device, so let's go into some more specific details now, starting with audio. You can record your screen with either internal device audio or device audio and microphone external recording. To change this setting, long press or 3D touch on the record button in the control panel. We'll start with internal device audio only, so leave the microphone recording button off. You can then press start recording in this control panel as well, it's up to you however you want to start the recording. And this is what the internal audio recording sounds like. It sounds crisp and clear, doesn't it? So let's turn on the microphone and do another recording. Now, recording with a microphone requires a little testing and setup. First of all, go into the Fortnite audio settings as shown here and crank up all the volumes. You'll see why in a moment. Don't forget to press the apply button when you do all this. Next, you need to do a dummy recording test to check what the audio levels sound like when recording with a microphone on because the audio levels change dramatically. Watch how the volume level on a device automatically shifts when I start the recording. We'll check to make sure the microphone recording is on, which it is, start the recording, and look at the volume switch down to half automatically. Set this back to maximum, but once you go back to the menu screen, you'll still notice a considerable shift in the audio level, which has dropped significantly. If it's anything like my iPhone 10, you'll struggle to hear it. However, this is what the actual recording sounds like. As you can hear, it sounds a lot louder because it's recording the audio internally. This can be quite a trial and error process with your device, adjusting the volumes, testing recordings and reviewing the results. But eventually, you should end up with something sounding and looking like this. You should end up with a recording where you can both hear the audio from the game and my voice 
but this does take a bit of trial and error as I've said adjusting the volume checking a recording adjusting the game so don't expect your first screen recording of Fortnite to go perfectly you certainly need to test it out before you go properly into some screen recordings now with microphone recordings things can get even more complicated listen to this you should end up with a recording where you can both hear the audio from the game and my voice but the so when you play back the screen recording in the photo app you can hear both the microphone audio and the game audio However, when you import the video file into an editor such as iMovie, you'll find that the voice audio completely disappears, as I'm about to demonstrate. So here is the 30 second video with the audio and game audio, and when I play it back, you only hear the game audio and no microphone audio. And that can be very frustrating once you've done a recording. So how do you fix that? Well, you can use a third party application such as TechSmith Capture. And what you're gonna do here is import the original video and then export it out again without making any changes. And this presumably puts two audio channels into one, which can be then detected by most video editors. So what we're gonna do is select that same audio and choose it, make absolutely no changes to it once it's compressed the video, that should put the audio together in one channel. And I simply tap on the share button in the bottom left hand corner here and choose more. And then you'll have the option to save it straight back to your video. So you're effectively duplicating your original recording. Now let's go back to our original video editor, which is iMovie. And what we need to do here is delete the original screen recording, which has the microphone audio removed and then import the brand new duplicated recording, which should have the audio there. You can see it's another 30 second video, exactly the same, but it should put the audio together just like this. You should end up with a recording where you can both hear the audio from the game and my voice, but this does- I know that sounds utterly ridiculous and complicated, but this is one of the persistent problems we have when recording voice audio and game audio on iOS devices. Once you have installed TechSmith Capture, which is a free application by the way, you can actually use it as your default screen recorder. So select it from the screen recording options, it will record the video and the audio, automatically put those channels together, and then you can export the video from TechSmith Capture as I've shown you in this demonstration, and then it should work. Now if you want more demonstrations on that, let me know in the comments below and I'll do a follow up video on this. And that's the beginner's guide to screen recording Fortnite on your iPhone or iPad. Now as I alluded to towards the end of this video, it can get complicated because there are one or two foibles I might say with iOS screen recording. I have literally done hundreds of videos on the subject so check out all of the playlists on my channel and if you want more iOS screen recording content just like this subscribe to the Video Gadgets journal and if you have any particular problems with Fortnite let me know in the comments below and I'll try and do some more follow-up advanced videos. That's it for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a thumbs up enjoy the rest of your tech day and indeed Fortnite screen recording day bye for now.